Rumble, Back in the Ring, adapted by Mei Nakamura, illustrated by Patrick Spaziante. My name is Ray Bourne Jr. I am a monster wrestler. Rayburn's, Rayburn Sr., my dad, was also a monster wrestler. He fought for the town of Stoker. My dad's coach was Jimbo Coyle. Together, they were unbeatable. Even after they were gone, the wrestling fans called Jimbo and my dad the greatest of all time. I thought I could never be as strong as my dad. I didn't even try. I called myself Steve the Stupendous, so no one would know who I really was. I even lost fights on purpose. Then one day, Winnie Coyle showed up to one of my fights. Winnie was Jimbo's daughter. She knew everything there was to know about monster wrestling. And she also knew I was Rayburn Sr.'s son. Winnie told me that a monster named Tentacular was trying to destroy our dad's stadium. In Stoker, she wanted to be my coach. Together, we can save the stadium. I didn't want to go to Stoker. I didn't want to train. To be a good wrestler, I wanted to sit at home and be lazy. But Winnie would not give up. Finally, I said yes. That's how I became Stoker's wrestler with Winnie as my coach. My first fight was against Romarilla. There was no way I could beat such a big, angry monster. But Winnie came up with a strategy. I should run for my life. Finally, Romarilla got tired and fell over. I collapsed on top of him and won the match. It was a miracle. Then, that's when I realized that winning felt good, a lot better than losing. Still, I wasn't a very good wrestler. If I wanted to win more matches, I needed to train harder. Winnie tried to tell me to lift weights, do pull-ups, and do push-ups. I couldn't do a single one. I didn't like training, so Winnie asked me what I actually like to do. I shrugged. I like sitting, sleeping, and eating. That was about it. I had a secret I didn't want to admit to Winnie. But then I couldn't keep I couldn't keep it inside any longer. I love to dance. I told Winnie I loved salsa, not like salsa with chips, but salsa dancing. Winnie played some music and I showed off my best dance moves. I felt embarrassed to dance in front of her, but I couldn't help it. There was nothing on the planet I loved more than dancing. I started to use my dance moves during my fights. I twirled, leaped, and shimmied. Not everyone was happy for me. The announcers watched me, watched my matches and complained. This isn't really monster wrestling. But I didn't care. It felt so good to get better at wrestling and win. I decided to challenge Tentacular to a fight. If I survived three rounds against Tentacular, I could save Stoker Stadium. If I lost before three rounds, he would destroy it. Tentacular was bigger, faster, stronger, and even better looking than me. I knew I was I still wasn't as good a wrestler as my dad either. But I had Winnie by my side. She was a great coach and a great friend. Whether I won the fight or lost, I was going to wrestle, wrestle Tentacular my way with my best friend Winnie at my side. It was time to get back in the ring and wrestle. The end.